Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is the well overdue part two to my nautical island entrance. Today we are going to be working on the top section of my island entrance as well as the nook's cranny area. And unfortunately right now my nook's cranny is not at the final stage of being built, but we will make do with what we have. And I hope you guys are excited to see this build. The first thing that we're gonna do is start over here as soon as you come up the incline at this little area that is probably, I would say, to like the right bottom area of my entrance, I guess you could say. I'm gonna start by putting down this little diagonal rug. As always, custom designs that I'm using on this island will be in the video description, so that way, if you wanna use them, you're more than welcome. They will be there for you to use. And as you can see, I'm kinda of struggling right now trying to put this down. And Walker is over there doing little zoomies, and I think that that's really cute to see him just run around and do zoomies while I'm struggling. I also put down a white park bench and now I'm just going to place some trees around. I'm not really sure where I really wanted trees to go, so I'm just kind of running around and looking for places that I feel like they would fit. If I use trees that are like this small one or trees that are not fully grown, I'm going to stunt them in the back with a piece of fruit. Always remember to use fruit to stunt your trees or else they are going to grow to full size and it kind of defeats the purpose if you were kind of going for a smaller tree. And as usual, I do tend to place things down and pick them up if they they don't fit or if I feel like it would be better somewhere else so bear with me if you see me placing a bunch of stuff down and then a few seconds later it gets picked up and moved to a different spot because I am very indecisive and I just kind of work as I go and whatever happens always just seems to happen regardless. a couple decorations here. I'm going to place down a barrel and I kind of struggled here for just a moment because I wanted to put something on top of the barrel but then I realized that it was probably like too close to the tree that it wasn't going to work. So then I just decided to go and put a custom design down so I could place a street lamp. I really want to use street lamps as much as I can just so that the island has a lot of light at night. Then I decided to go in front of the tree and place down another custom design. I used this little pansy rug that has little blue pansies on it and I think it is absolutely adorable and after I placed that down I decided to put a little scooter type thing on it because I just felt like it was something really cute and decorative to add. Now I'm just gonna start filling in a couple areas with some flowers. I am using blue and white flowers only on this island. I just decided to place them down wherever I felt like they would fit best. And after I place them down, you're gonna see that I go in with some stone fencing and I just place that wherever I felt like it would go all right. I thought that maybe if I put it like this, that I would be able to fit in a few decorations in front of the scooter. I wanted to add a little bush because I felt like it was so fitting and I love the little bushes in the game. I think they're adorable. Then I decided that I was gonna place down some of that white board plank on my island that I used in the first video of the entrance. I put some of that down and then I decided that I needed another tree just to kind of fill the space a little bit because I didn't really want anything too big over here to take away from the nooks cranny area and the vision that I had over there. So I decided to do that and I placed down a couple more of that stone fencing and then I got stuck behind the tree of course and then I wanted to add some more flowers because I feel like you can never go wrong with too many flowers. I really want to use a lot of different bug models on this island so I put a honeybee model there and I decided that I was gonna put something here so I placed down a couple different bug models until I found one that I felt like it fit better so I ended up going with the butterfly here and I placed that where I felt like it would go and then I added another little flower just because like I said you can never have too many flowers when in doubt put a flower 
The last few things that I did for this area is I added another piece of that stone fencing and I also struggled for just a moment because I needed to find my white iron garden table but nonetheless I finally found it. I placed that down and I also added some cute little jelly donuts on top of it. I thought that that was adorable. The next thing that I wanted to do is add some more of that white board plank because every time I place it I feel like it's kind of like the separation walkway into an area that you're trying to go to so I like to use that a lot. After I got that down I decided to put a zen cushion and also layer another cushion on top of it. I think that it is adorable especially using two different designs. Then I wanted to place a couple more flowers. I used a white rose and a blue rose and I went on the other side and I put a white cosmos and the last thing that I did to really finish off this area was just push that cushion and get it centered just a little bit. Working my way over to the Nook's Cranny area, I'm gonna put down this little custom design. I don't like the fact that I had to use the same one because I wanted to add a street lamp here, but I'm either just gonna get over it or find something else later on to switch it out with. But for right now, it's fine how it is. Then I'm gonna place down some flowers. I decided to really start with the flower placement because I had no idea at this point in time what I was doing for decoration wise. After I placed that last flower, I struggled a little bit because I wanted to put down a light ring and like I said this is a coastal slash nautical theme island so I really want to add that you know coastal feel with the decorations. Working with diagonal cliff areas is always a little difficult for me since you're not able to turn decorations and make them be at that sort of angle. So I usually just use flowers and bushes to kind of fill up that little spot. So for this one, I decided to add flowers and bushes and I did that little stone fence right there to kind of block it off. Next up is the area to the right of my nook's cranny. I did place down these decorations, but you'll see later in the video that I did pick it all up and change it because I didn't like how it was turning out. My original plan was to have like a little tool shelf and some boxes, but I decided that I didn't like how it looked, so I did end up changing it. I put down a barrel and I also put down a little pirate ship bottle on top of it, but I really did not like how it looked, so you'll see later on that I did change it. After I placed all of this down, I went back to the tree and I decided to put a little cute blue and white baby bear. I think it was adorable. I put that there and it's so cute. I love the little bears in the game. I think that they're so, so, so stinking cute. And I also placed down a little anchor statue, but I did change this as well. I feel like it did not fit the space in the way that I was hoping it would. I did end up keeping the anchor. I literally just said that I didn't, but I think I forgot that I did. I decided to place down this little goldfish bowl. I love that when you place down the goldfish that it puts them in this cute little bowl. It is absolutely adorable. I had to get rid of this flower and I also put down some no flower designs on the ground. If you don't know what that is, it's just a custom design where it's transparent. So if you place it on the ground, it's not gonna let flowers keep growing all over the place. So every time that I get a chance to put one of those down, I do it just so I don't have flowers being overgrown. Then in the area where I took up all the decorations, I decided to put down this cute little lace doily and I decided to go in with a snack machine. I thought that it would be cute to have a little area outside of the nook's cranny where you can pop in and grab some snacks from a snack machine. It's adorable. Then I put down a kid's tent because I felt like it really matched with the baby bear. And you'll see for the next couple seconds that I straight struggled with this kid's tent. I really wanted it to come out a little bit more, but because of the terraforming of the cliff, I just was not able to do that. I put down this little barrel and lantern, and I think it is super, super cute. I love the little idea that I had here, but then I did keep struggling with the kid's tent. Eventually, after I finished struggling, I put it back in the same spot that it was before, right up next to the baby bear. I tried some cardboard boxes and it just wasn't gonna work. And I also tried a flower and that didn't work either. So enjoy these next couple seconds of me literally just struggling. Now 
that the struggle is over, I'm gonna go in with some more of that white board plank just as a little walkway to get up to the snack machine. I did also add a second layer of that that kind of fills up that gap, but I did not record that and I don't know why. I also added some flowers and another one of those bug models of the cute little butterfly. Then I re-added my barrel and put the lantern on top of it. Now it's time to work on the left side of my island entrance. I'm gonna have this little stage area and I wanted to have like a little market of some sort. So I'm not really sure if it turned into a market or what exactly it is. I'll let you guys be the decider on that. I went over here and I placed some Festivale garden and I also placed a small tree and stunted it in the back. Now I'm gonna place down a little Festivale balloon. I think it is adorable. I'm gonna stick that right in the middle. After I do that, I wanted to put down a stall because like I said, I wanted this to be sort of like a little market area, but I don't think that that is exactly what it's gonna turn into. I'm not sure you can be the judge of that. I also put down this little popcorn machine because what a better way to use it than here. I also custom designed this table as well as the little stool. So I'm gonna place that down and I'm also so gonna put some stuff on top of the table in just a little bit. Now I'm gonna put down a custom design on the ground so I can place a festival a confetti machine. I'm gonna have one on both sides. That way it kind of like blows over top of everything. So it's kind of like you're walking in through confetti. I feel like that is such a cute little design aspect. And I'm just gonna put that down on each side and spin them around and turn them on. After I did that, I'm gonna kind of try and put down some flowers as well as a custom design in front of this popcorn machine. I decided that I was gonna put one of the little board planks, just a smaller one. I went behind that and I added a flower because I felt like it just didn't have enough. So I'm gonna put that back and so far I'm really enjoying how this turned out. Now I just need to put this back like I said. After I put this back I am going to place down that little custom design of the board plank. I'm going to use a smaller one since this is a smaller area and I can't use two. I think that it is so cute and it kind of gives you a little space to walk up to it and get out some popcorn. The next thing that I'm going to do is come over here and I'm going to put down a garbage can because what better thing than having a little garbage can so you can throw away your trash. And then I'm gonna put down some more flowers because you can never use enough flowers. And plus, these flowers are absolutely beautiful. I love them so, so much. The blues and the whites really go together so well. I'm also gonna put down a little life ring and go grab some more decorations because I need them. I went and grabbed a couple decorations that I thought would fit really well. So I'm just gonna pull this stall out and the first thing I'm gonna do is lay down a typewriter because I did want this to be kind of like a market where you would come up and buy things. And after I placed that down, I really did not know what to put beside of it. I kind of struggled for a little bit, but then I decided that I would really wanna do a, what is it, a pond skater? I really wanted to put that there. You'll see that I do that in just a few seconds, but I went ahead and put my little thing back on the ground. What is it? Life ring. I am totally butchering this today. I am so sorry. But I put down my little pond skater because I really like the bucket that it comes in. And I also put down an ant on the ground because I also love the little container that it puts it in. Then I put down some chocolate and some cheese and some grapes. And overall, I feel like this area did not really turn into a market, but I feel like it's kind of like an area where you would come and you could maybe pay to eat some of the things that are on the table. Something of that nature, I'm not really sure. I just kind of had an idea and I went with it, but I think it overall looks pretty decent. Then I went ahead and put some stone fencing on the ground and I did put this little welcome sign here, but I didn't like it, so I ended up changing that a little bit later. You'll see that after I get to it. And then the last thing that I did was I put a bush right at the other end and that is what I changed the welcome sign to. I just did two bushes on each side. I also went through and filled in this little area right in front of the nook's cranny. I went in with another bush and some flowers and then I ended it off with another piece of that stone fencing. I feel like it's really great to use to kind of break up the area and I really would recommend it if you needed something like that. 
I also added some of those whiteboard planks because like I said earlier, I feel like those are a great way to kind of like lead up to a new base in a new area. And then I put down that bush and I re-added the stone fencing because I wanted it to be the same on each side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put down some trees for this next part of the build. And I really like to put my trees first because I feel like it kind of helps me be able to map out the area just a little bit better, kind of get an idea of where I can put other decorations to kind of make it go together. So I always feel like if you're doing a build, the trees are a great way to kind of map out what you wanna do other than terraforming. And I'm also gonna go over here to Walker's house and place down a tree here. I'm gonna start at the top of the waterfall and I'm gonna go ahead and place down a wind turbine. I really wanted to have this so that way if I was down near Walker's house or down near the bottom of the entrance, I could look up and see it. I'm gonna go ahead and place a tree as well because you can never go wrong with a tree. And I struggled a lot with this build because it was such a small space. And not only was it small, I got stuck a lot. So I really, really struggled up here trying to decorate it the best that I could. After I did that, I went ahead and I tried to put some flowers. I felt like it really did need flowers up here as well as other decorations. Flowers are really probably my favorite part of decorating build just because I feel like flowers give life to any build that you're trying to make. It'll make it so much more pretty than if you just had random decorations thrown around. The flowers really seem to give it life in my opinion. I went and I put a no flower patch on the ground just so they wouldn't grow any more than that. Then I came around to the front and I put down some stone fencing to kind of block that off and I put another piece on the other side to block that off as well. I really wanted the main focus to be on the front of the waterfall rather than on the back of the waterfall. I tried to put down a dragonfly model but I didn't quite like where it was so I did end up moving that. It just didn't fit in the certain spot that I wanted it. I also put down a beach ball because this is a coastal core island so I really wanted some beach themed stuff along the way and I felt like a beach ball was super super cute to try and add. I got that down I decided to put a flower beside of it just to give it a little something extra then I came over and I found a spot that I wanted to put a piece of custom design because I wanted to put something on top of it I just went with the little pansy rug that has the blue pansies that I use a lot I think it is super cute and I feel like it went great in front of the tree I did decide to put another scooter on it because I love the scooters the scooters and the mountain bikes are probably my favorite then I found a spot that I wanted to put that dragonfly so I went ahead and put down a custom design so I could set it on top of it. I think it looked adorable sitting there so I turned it around to get it in the right spot that I wanted it. Then I decided to put some more flowers because I'm a flower person. I love the flowers and the last couple things that I did is I decided to put a decoy duck on the ground because I felt like a duck at the top of the waterfall would have been absolutely adorable. I put a bush because I felt like a bush would have been super cute and at this point I got stuck and I had to call resident services to get down that was the first time I ever had to call them so it was super super embarrassing but nonetheless we did get down Moving over to Walker's house area behind it, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bush at the very corner edge of this waterfall. I think it is so cute, I love the bushes. This waterfall, I'm very impressed with the terraforming I did on it because I didn't want a very big stream on it, so I think it turned out super cute. I also put down a little garden rock because I haven't used those yet really and I love them. And I'm gonna go ahead and put down some flowers. I was gonna try and put a birdhouse here, but it just wouldn't fit and it didn't look right so I just decided to go ahead and do some flowers and oh I accidentally hopped across the wrong way I'm gonna come on the other side and put another flower and I'm gonna try and see if I can put down an anchor and see where I would like it I did put it by the bush first and I ended up not really liking that. I kind of wanted to put a surfboard there instead. So I decided to just move the anchor and put it on the other side of the tree and then put in my surfboard. At 
this point, I kind of just walked around the space and tried to visualize what I could do here. I decided that I was gonna put down a custom design of the pansy little rug thing that I have. I think it is so, so cute. I decided to just put that down and I decided to put a mountain bike on it. I've used a lot of the scooters, so I really wanted to take this opportunity to use a mountain bike instead. It took me a second to get it placed just right because it kept being all weird and wonky just because the space was really awkwardly shaped. So it took me just a minute to get it in, but I got it eventually. Then I came and I decided to put a piece of fencing to block it off from around the other side of the tree. And I decided to just put another flower there on the other side of the stone fencing. And I decided to put a flower right beside the garden rock just to fill in some empty spaces. Then I decided that I was gonna put a street lamp down, but I wanted to put down the custom design doily that I had. So I decided to put that down and then lay my street lamp. And after that, I decided to put another piece of that stone fencing and go on the other side of it and put some flowers. Now I just have this last section to work with. I decided to put down this lace doily because I wanna put a park public bench on top of it. I'm gonna use the same white one that I've been using for all of the builds so far. I just feel like I don't wanna switch anything up until I decide to do a different part of the island. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down and get it placed right since I had to put it in backwards. Once I get that placed right, I am gonna come in front of the tree and lay down a flower. I wanted to put down a blue flower because I just felt like it needed something there in front of it. After I got this flower down, I did finally find a place to put my birdhouse. I've been trying to use this birdhouse throughout the whole build and I finally found a spot to put it. Then I decided to come next to the waterfall and I wanted to put a matching street lamp. So I had to put down my custom design and go grab that street lamp. Once I got that street lamp down, I went over and I put a turkey garden stand, I believe it is called. I put that beside of the stone fencing and I wanted to put something on top of it and I just decided to put a little lantern on top of it. I may or may not change this later on since there is a lantern over by the nook's cranny, but for right now, that's just what is there. I came over behind the tree and I put a barrel and on top of the barrel, I did put a sea globe, but I decided I didn't like that. so I took it down and I put a butterfly on top of it instead. I felt like it looked better and it was prettier visually and I just didn't really care for that sea globe on top of it. Then I put down a flower and a balloon behind the tree. Finishing up this build, the last few things that I did is add some stone fencing. I added a flower right in between at the little weird angle to connect to the park benches. Then I came over by the tree and I did not get this recorded, but I put down some stone fencing as well as a flower and a custom design cushion and a honeybee model. But I, for some reason, did not get that recorded. I don't know what happened. But then I put down some custom design and I moved the cushion on top of the custom design and then I took the little honeybee model and put it next to the water. And that was pretty much all I did for this build. And this is it for my part two of my nautical island entrance. I'm gonna give you a little walkthrough of it and let you see it now that it's all finished. I am absolutely obsessed with how it turned out. I don't think that I could have done anything different. I love it so much. I think that it is probably my favorite build that I've ever done on any of my islands. That's saying a lot considering I've had like five different islands, two of them which I've gotten rid of, and then I have bubble tea and moonshine and so far this is absolutely my most favorite build that I've done. I am obsessed with how it looks and I am also so 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 thankful for Emma aka Fleur's Crossing. If you don't know her please go check her out. I'm gonna link her stuff in the description below but without any further ado if you enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and like and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye friends!